what's up everyone it is your girl jail beauty except here aka grace and i finally got my hands on this sicily foundation i have been talking to y'all about so needless to say we gonna try it out today now the color i chose i'm like mm, i guess six w and something told me to get like a little bit of a deeper one but i feel like this is more than the fancy fancy shade than mine but i might be able to pull it off with bronze or another stuff so that's what we gonna do and then I got, during the 21 Days of Beauty sale, sometime this week, I got this Hyper Real Serumizer Skin Balancing Hydration Serum. I think it's supposed to be a primer and a serum, which is why it's called a serumizer. Ser serumizer? A serum and a primer? Or maybe a luminizer? I don't know. But we're going to use it as a primer today. Then I got this Half Magic Beauty Cheek Fluff in the shade Only Drama. I'm concerned because this is kind of purple and I don't know how it's going to go with the rest of the eye looks I have to do today because I have like four to seven eye looks I need to try to do. Realistically, I'm gonna start off with four and I'm gonna have to come back and do some more later, but then I got the Half Magic Beauty Light Trap Enter the Glow Dual Chrome Glow Powder. I got the shade Light Trap, I believe that's the name of the shade. Or it might be called Enter the Glow, I don't know, I'm not exactly sure. But this is the shade, it looks like it's a champagne peach peachy light gold type shade, which is my type of shade. They didn't have too many shades to choose from that I was interested in, so. That's why I picked the one I got. Then I got the e.l.f. Primer Infused Matte Bronzer. I told y'all about this. This is Shade Sun Soap. And I got a color corrector from e.l.f. as well. So we're going to start off with using that. I'm going to just use the Natasha Denona Concealer, the Hyper Glam, because it's conveniently located. It's literally sitting right behind me, so I didn't have to bring a concealer in here. And then I have the Clout Click pen, Humping Plant Pen. I forgot what shade I got. I'm pretty sure this is the shade Toasted, though. I'll check the box when we get there. I got a box of stuff down here to tell us. So, I'm going to just have information pop up, I guess, when we get to the parts that I need to read about when it comes to foundation and stuff. Because I I got a busy day and I just, 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 just don't have time for it today. Okay, I just don't. But yeah, so, what's been going with you, honey? I meant to put my earrings on before I started my bed. But what's been going on, ladies? Because... This week is busy for me. I did come up with, um, I looked through my ideas on my phone again to give y'all some new series. Because I told y'all, I'm trying to do new series throughout the season. As opposed to just have the same old ones constantly go up. Which I feel like y'all like a good majority of them. Some of them I feel like you might like better than other ones. Just like with any series. It's like some stuff you like, some stuff you not. So I have kept that in mind. And I'm kind of trying to like rotate through the ones I feel like you will like the absolute most. And kind of try to keep those on and just kind of get rid of the other ones that slowly phase them out i want to bring back eyeshadow verses if you remember eyeshadow verses and you know what i'm talking about i have a whole playlist about it it's basically when i go over eyeshadow palettes with two different brands and then show like three or four palettes that feel the same this has a pleasant scent to it but i go through like three or four different palettes that have the same scent to it if you i mean same look to it if you will and then i pick one of them after i get done telling you all about them and ranking them and all that type of stuff and then we do an eye look with each one to see how similar they actually are so since i love i shall probably always try to come up with a way to come up with more stuff so um i think i'm bringing that back but i have to find some more brands that i feel like match stuff in other brands and i have to have enough of brain, uh, palettes to get done because i used to do like then i just used to do like three to four of them that had similar color stories so i have to do that but this gets in the foundation, honey, so. Oh, yeah, y'all, I'm concerned, but I like that as well, y'all. Okay, so I started off with two pumps. I feel like it's going to have to be three pumps up because the pumps were kind of small. It might just be me, but I feel like the pumps were a little small. Anyway, so I got that idea going, then I got a couple other ideas. I'm still going to do brands you're sleeping on that you shouldn't. Like, I'm filming one of those today. That's why I said I got so much to do. I got a complexion point I need to do, even though I'm still trying more complexion. Like, I had another complexion video I did, um, I think it was Thursday night. And then foolishly forgot to film the outro, so I'm going to have to put that foundation on again, um, tomorrow to make sure that I film the outro for it tomorrow night. I got to do new makeup releases. I'm trying out the new, um... Um, what is it? This prototype brush from Refer. This is the BO2. And then I'm going to try the concealer one as well, which is the BO1. I already used the BO3 in the video with you all for the eyeshadows. I don't know if that video is up yet, but you know. And if you have one of those swirly fragrances like the expensive luxury foundation, if you usually have, okay, it's new and better than I thought it was going to when it came to the shade. 
So apparently I can make the shade work, which is good because I bought this during like the Bloomingdale's and sale or whatever. So I'm like, you know, that's cute. Please excuse the red buff on my forehead. I don't know what's going on with that. Like a hard bump just appeared there. So I'm like, I don't know if it was ingrown hair that went wrong or if it's like a really just just like acne bump. Crap y'all, I'm supposed to put the color conceal on, color corrector on before I started this. Well, I put the color corrector on and I need to put more foundation on anyway because the coverage of this is not giving it all. Like these two pumps I put on, it feels like I put on nothing. I mean, I feel like I look nice and blurred on camera, but like if you saw me close up, I, you could still see a lot of the imperfections on my cheeks and stuff from the type of pigmentation and whatnot. So I'm gonna take my Sigma P82 Precision Round Brush to blend out this color corrector and then we're gonna put on some more, you know, foundation because this is not giving enough at all. It is not. I am not feeling it at all. So that should be enough. I'm trying to sash up with some more. Why now? Probably not the best idea because I already put foundation on, but you know. Why not? I'm here, you're here, we're here, everyone's here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it out. Because I don't know how long it's going to you know, last or before it starts drying down. I've never tried an elf one. I heard this was a good alternative to the one from, um, what do you call it? Uh, for the beauty now? I don't know how true that is, but that's what I heard. Hopefully this will help with the dark circles under my eyes. Cause I noticed them a lot of the time. So we're not gonna judge it too hard since I didn't put it on the proper way. And since I haven't tried the Hooded Beauty one, I don't know if it's a good alternative or not. Somebody who has tried both would have to like tell us. I'm pretty sure what is the name? Tatiana Anise said that they were good. Like it was a good alternative to it because she did a video comparing like a whole bunch of elf dupes to like her and things and her like opinion on them. So if you're interested, just go check out that video. I watched it just to get someone else's takes on dupes because y'all know I live for a dupe and I do lots of dupe videos but I do like to watch other people's dupes videos just to see you know and sometimes get ideas for my videos like if I'm going you know okay so I did two more pumps because the pumps come out I feel like as half pumps so technically to me this is only like I guess the second pump because the pumps are so small I'm telling y'all they are so small I um, pumped that out and I was like well, that's it like it was a very tiny pump to put some over there but we have to put that on but yeah so but like i was saying um yeah i feel like i have more ideas coming to my brain that i want to you know do i'm probably gonna have some more like deep content coming in addition to just like highlighting some brands that i like that i feel like have good products that people don't usually talk about those products from the brand so i got a whole nother series just based upon that and the products not necessarily brands as a whole that you sleep on but like certain products from brands that like people really do love and do talk about a lot but it's like they don't talk about these products and i feel like you need to like be talking about them and use them and praise them the way you praise like the certain other things that you like from the brand so i got something like that coming up too so i'm just out here trying to come up with all sorts of new different ideas and then like certain ideas it's like i can make little shorts out of them too for other like um platforms to kind of get myself out there and get a fan base in other places besides youtube or instagram so like i got some that i just plan on putting on like lemonade or like tiktok because if you all didn't know i do have a lemonade i'm actually one of the lemonade beauty creators so they reached out and told me that um i was a part of it and like sent me this um like link to join where they have like chats and stuff so I've been out here trying to make moves, y'all, and do, you know, a little bit of stuff here and there. Okay, so I'm liking it better now that I got, like, all these layers on. But, like, I had to put four layers on to get any type of coverage that I like. And it's still not fully to, like, my coverage. So I would definitely say this is a light to, like, maybe um, low medium, in my personal opinion. But y'all know I'm really extra, like, to put on a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm going to lay on this concealer to make up for the fact that I feel like this foundation did not get enough coverage that's just my personal opinion anyway um yeah so i've been trying to do a whole bunch of different new stuff when it comes to my um content or at least kind of come up with new ideas for content so you know 
my foot, but I'm trying to focus on over here. Well, yeah. I feel like I have been trying to do my best, like, girl. I've been trying to, um, slow down on content at the same time, though, because, like, sometimes I feel like I just overwhelm myself with so many ideas at one time, because it's like, you know, I need to calm down, but I know me, it's like, it's hard for me to calm down and not, you know, have content to do, because I'm a person who's a creature of habits, so it's like, if I have certain routines, certain things I like to do, like, I like to stick to that routine, so not filming on Friday took a lot for me to like try to adjust into my schedule but at the same time it's like been helpful because I'm like I can always like sometimes I just come film like one random video throughout the week and then I don't have to worry about having to you know film so much I'm gonna take my refer B01 brush now because I've been asked to concealer and foundation brush I don't know I don't like it blended up it's such nicely it's just I guess because I'm used to them being like natural hair brushes and it was mixed with synthetic I was kind of just like hmm that was interesting it wasn't bad it was just you know it's different from what I'm used to when it comes to using their brushes so I think that's why I was kind of just like hmm okay now with this concealer brush I actually really like it I think it's very nice fact that it's got synthetic and natural hairs in it I feel like it's helping with the blending sometimes I feel like when I use natural hair brushes for my concealer like they don't do a good job so I'm liking this one because it has the synthetic and natural hair because I need to use the synthetic um, brush when it comes to underneath like my eyes that BK Beauty one that I love from what is it um Angie Hot Flashy is a synthetic brush so i feel like sometimes when you're just used to using a certain thing like you prefer it over other things even though you try other things but i had a bad experience trying to use a natural hair brush underneath the eyes too like some of the hair started sticking underneath my eyes and when i tried using a cream bronzer and stuff so i'm like i feel like when it comes to that i should just stick to my synthetic hair brushes like my bk beauty and my sigmas and then the other ones i should just go ahead so I'm gonna go off camera and powder underneath my eyes, but we'll powder my face on camera now just so you can kind of get an idea of how everything is looking. Cause I'm trying to cut it down, especially since we gotta put the rest of the stuff on my face on camera. So let me grab a brush, a quick and cute one. Okay, so I'm gonna just take this Real Techniques brush and I have the shade number four, which is the deepest shade for my face. And to cut like, mush it in i'm not really trying to like buff it in and do the buffing technique like the late great Mel thompson does i'm just kind of trying to set the face by pressing it with this i know they say uh what is that brush called um a kabuki one so this i think the, the sigma f80 would be better for this but i'm like i'm just gonna you know do it with this so you can see what the face is looking like before we come back and put on the blush and the bronze or and the highlighter on camera but so this is what the face is looking like as far as like setting down the foundation i think it looks nice on the skin it definitely looks like a natural um foundation i don't know what it said the claims were on it like i said they went up over here when i was putting on my face so i'm not exactly sure about that at this moment but i'm gonna do my under eyes and then we'll come back and talk about the rest of the product Okay, so this is what the under eyes look like. I just put the brightening powder underneath from, from Essence. Uh, so here is what the bronzer looks like. It's giving a lot of red. Kind of like the one from NYX that we tried. So I'm just kind of like, mm hmm. Okay. So let's get into this. Um, yeah, it's definitely little red um i've never tried the prime infused bronzes if you all remember when they first came out they did not have any for people my skin tones oh, uh, yeah but it seems like a nice enough formula for the price point i think these are like 
seven or eight dollars so it's still cheaper than the drugstore because the name the um l'oreal one i really like is like 15.99 however we all know i am a couponing queen when it comes to cvs so i could easily probably get this one the l'oreal one down to probably the same price is this one because they give you 20% off coupons and L'Oreal has their own coupons and they give you coupons about cosmetics in general depending on how you shop what they give you the coupon for so I you know do all that but I feel like it's not looking as like red when I put it on as it looks in the pan which I'm kind of happy about because I don't want it to be super red I kind of want it to be more of that yellowish undertone like um Coco Nordy from Fenty but I can still see some redness, so I'm just kind of like, hmm. It's just not as red as the one from NYX. And it doesn't have that satiny finish that the one from NYX has, too. I'm interested to see how this one is going to wear, though, just because it's supposed to be priming for you. So I feel like it should last much longer and be more pigmented throughout the day because it's supposed to have that priming fuse situation going on. But we shall see how it wears throughout the day. We shall see. So this is what we're working with. The face is looking real nice and cheap. And for $125, she should. Okay? For $125, she should look flawless for 12 hours at least. Okay? So let's get into this blush. So I have the shade Only Drama. I thought I had picked up the brown shade because I thought that would be more fun to use. But this is what the shade I picked up looks like. Not that it's a bad shade. It's definitely a unique shade, which is something I wanted to make sure I got too, because I'm like, no point of buying another peach tone blush. Like, let's get something different. So, it's kind of like the creamish formula. So, let's see how it's going on the skin. Oh, yeah, I like that color. And as you can see, I hardly picked up any. This is how much I picked up, and that's how much we got off. So, imagine if I had like, like really dug into it, how much more that would be. So, it gives off good pigmentation to start off with, which I definitely like. Especially for a cream, I thought it was going to be like way softer. So let's do the other side now. Like I'm, I'm telling y'all, I'm loving this color. It's just, it's everything. on this side than it is on the other side. I don't know. Okay. Let's shop a little bit more on this side. There we go. That's what I was looking for. I'm looking for a little bit more depth with the purple when I put it on. So it looks way better on than I thought it was going to, which I'm excited about. Because, like I said, because it's so deep in the pan, I was like, we don't know the pigmentation. But I should have known, like, people don't like heavily pigmented blushes. So, it's giving very minimal. I don't know why mine is cracking from the base. I haven't even used it yet. But, like, I see it cracking, like, right in this area right here. I don't know if you all be able to see it, but, like, right in there. Do y'all see, like, the line where it's cracking at the very edge up there? I don't know what that's about because I'm like, I just got this in the mail, so I don't feel like I should be doing that. I might have got it in the mail like maybe two weeks ago, so I'm like, why are we doing all this? Like, why did you do that? Ooh, yes. Y'all see that? Mmm, yes. I didn't even pick up that much, mind you, but I'm here for it. You know, she's cute. Uh, and with this blush, I'm definitely liking the effect I'm getting. It's like a fancy super shock shadow, like that's what it's giving with this formula. To give like that wet ethereal look that you know they're known for in euphoria so it makes sense that you come up with something of that effect now do you need necessarily need a fancy like color pop highlighter no i don't think you do but you know i have it and it's cute <laughs> that's just my first impression like it might wear longer and better than super shock highlighter so i don't know we'll have to see and i'm wondering how long it's going to stay the consistency it is in the kind of packaging it is because y'all know Colourpop has their sealed up tight so maybe they wait, found a way to have a formula that doesn't do that or maybe they're using more like a super shock formula and just putting it in a highlight form because if you all remember they started putting super shock highlighters in regular palettes and they don't really dry out so I'm wondering if she's just using super shock eyeshadow formula and putting it 
for highlighters instead since Super Shock highlighters aren't like out on their own. But I'm liking on the glue of the cheeks. Got my little cute cream on. My whole thing is when you have oily skin, it'll probably look oilier way quicker than you know other people will so that's just something I have to keep in mind but if you have normal to dry skin I feel like it'll be fine for you it's just I know people that have oily skin are probably like freaking out right now because of where I put that and they're like no what are you doing but you know I'm gonna take this lip liner from LA girl and the shade chocolate so we can put on this lipstick from elf and spray my face and be done with it all for right now get the lip liner on let's put this gloss oh, I keep a couple of liners here just to be safe so I don't have to rush back into like the bathroom to get one so so here's what the shade looks like it's just kind of like a beigey nude or a pinky nude or a peachy nude more like a beigey peachy one like a little plumping sensation to this one that I don't feel like you get when you use the one from um who do you call it um tart so I thought this was a mimic tart but tart sudden plump your lips the way this is doing so I'm just kind of like anyway here's who we're working with when it comes to lips let's spray my face will be done so I'm gonna spray it with what's close to me I got the Ciate London watermelon burst setting spray so I'm use this press stuff down the skin and then I'm gonna use the LA girl oil control to be my finishing setting spray and yes it does smell like artificial water just in case anyone cared I found it at TJ Maxx and I was like it could be good to try out as one to push setting spray into the skin so, I how it ended up coming home with me. Is it TJ Maxx or Marshalls? I want to say it was Marshalls. No, I don't think about it. But, this is what the face is looking like. She's looking nice. She's looking cute. She's looking snatched. Again, she should for $125. Because that's how much this foundation retails for. And I'm like, girl. But I'm like, girl. I don't know. I'd be interested to see some other brands come up with primer infused blushes for random side note just because I like primer infused stuff. I feel like it's supposed to last longer on your skin to help out with that. And since I have oily skin, anything that's supposed to last longer that I don't have to put as much effort into with setting sprays and primers and all that stuff, I'm here for. So I'd love to see some other brands come out with primer infused soft focus bronzers. But this is my face. I will talk to you later. Okay, girl. Okay. Okay, y'all start turn. After a long day of wear, I've had this on since I think we, I'm pretty sure we put this on at one o'clock. One o'clock has come and left. It is now 12. I think I'm gonna check my phone. Is it like 12 30 or something? I don't know. It's 12 22. So I've had this foundation on for a good long while. As you can see, it held up quite well. All things considered, it looks more glossy on camera than it does like in person. And it's made like this area right here. But I didn't use a, you know, mattifying powder, so that might explain why. And then remember, we didn't use a mattifying primer either, so that could be reason behind it. But otherwise, I'd say the face looks pretty good overall. My lip did stay on till about 6.30, 7 o'clock, but that's when I went home and finally ate. I feel like if I had eaten sooner, they came off sooner. It did start wearing on the bottom lip after a certain amount of time. I want to say like 
maybe four or something five o'clock so it did last like a good three four hours on its own before they started breaking up but it didn't break up to where like you just saw huge spaces missing and you could see that my lip gloss was missing it faded off very nicely for people who care about stuff like that but obviously if you eat it's going to disappear so i've eaten twice since um i did that so i'm expect you know i expected it to come off and it did so I think it worked pretty well as a nice plumping sensation. If you're looking for an affordable option, I definitely think it's a good one to choose from. Now, I don't know if you can find it at CVS and Walmart yet or pl places where they sell Elf because they sell Elf at Target too. So, I don't know if it's made its way around to the actual stores yet or not. However, I do know that um, you can... Um, what is it? Oh, you can buy it off their website. Now, the bronzer, I think it held up pretty well. Um, the blush did pretty good, too. It's just, you know, as you can see, you can see it clearly right there. It's just, you know, I think the bronzer held up actually quite well, especially in the cheat area, which is the place I'm usually main concerned about it because I wear a hat when I go to work and go places because it's still, you know, considered... Was well, considered spring, I guess, but Chicago doesn't really know much about spring. Although the weather has been pretty nice, but I'm usually more concerned about this area right here and it wearing off here. Especially because sometimes I'm a person who touches their face and forget I have makeup on. Because sometimes I don't remember when I have makeup on and when I don't. So I will touch my face and then be like, oh, right, there's makeup on right now. So I, I like the fact that it held up nicely through the day. I like the blush pretty well. I don't know if in the future I would set it with a powder one or not. I kind of want to set it with the um, the berry blush from Dior just to see how they would look together. Not that this, as you can see, didn't sit nicely on its own because I think it did nicely on its own. I'm just curious. Um, if you're curious what's on my eyes, this is the Basic Witch Palette from Bella Beauté Bar. But yeah, so... Those are all the things on my face that we had to talk about. I like the serum, serumizer, serum and moisturizer combined. I'm assuming it's what it's supposed to be. I thought it was supposed to be serum and primer originally, but I think it's supposed to be a serum and a moisturizer combined to give this like radiant type of glow thing that it did. And I think it worked out pretty nicely. I'm probably going to use it like a prep before makeup type thing and not necessarily as a serum and a moisturizer, but either way, I think it worked nicely. Now, I don't know if it works nicely for the price that they're charging because I think originally it was like $55 or $65 or something like that. And that's why I waited for the sale to get it because I was like, I just, I can't with that price. I can't. But, yeah. Um, the highlighter, I feel like it's kind of hard to tell because all the places I put it look greasy because, you know, I have oily combination skin. So, my T-zone is like oily and this is like the T-zone-ish like area. So, I don't know how I feel like if I can really judge the highlighter too well. But, yeah. Um, I liked the color of it. If you don't like one of those wet, you know, ethereal um, glitter-esque looking highlighters, then it's not for you. But, those are my thoughts on all the products on my face. I know, it took me long enough, right? But I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember, you all are diamonds. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Be blessed, girl. Oh, wait, we didn't talk about the foundation. Child, um, I, wait, no, I did. I did say I felt like it wore pretty well. I feel like it should have worn well, though, for how much they charged for it. I mean, honey, it was, it was a lot. And I don't feel like, it was, you know, it should have been all that. I really don't feel like it should have been all that. But it looks nice on the skin. I would love to compare this to that new Tom Ford when I talked about with you all and the new makeup releases that you'll see next week. So you'll hear about it there. But I feel like that one might be comparable with this one. I haven't tried it, but just reading upon it, I feel like it might be better than this one. And I love me a good Tom Ford moment, so I definitely can't wait to pick that up. But be blessed, girl. Bye.